if it's me. Hey, baby doll. Yeah, I'm in the car already. Are you on your way? Yep, I'm almost there. Okay, I'll see you soon. Love you, babe. I love you too. Out of the fucking car, bitch! Now! Shane! Shane! You okay? Come back, I'm gonna kill you, bitch! down just like you used to hunt down the enemy on the battlefield you're a train killer who went after the stupid son of a bitch who went after your wife admit it i don't know what you're talking about you got the wrong man that's bullshit we checked your past you are special forces someone took this guy apart look at you now you're just a murderer what the hell happened to you? The guy carjacked my wife. I chased him off. It doesn't mean I killed him. You're going away for a long time, tough guy. Sorry, so very sorry. I know I promised to wait for you, but I can't wait any longer. It's been six years. I need to move on. I need to get my life back. I love you so much, Shane. Council, I take it that you're ready? We are, Your Honor. I believe you have our recommendation in front of you. As you've read, the prosecution has filed for a dismissal of charges against my client, and because of that, we will expect certain details to be included in the record when his record is expunged. And what are those? That a weapon, one that matches the ballistics profile of the one used in the initial murder, was recovered in the possession of another subject. That the 
DNA of said subject matches the DNA that was recovered in the initial murder investigation. All of this was brought to light with the help of Project Innocence. Now that DNA was never admitted into the original trial? OK. I find sufficient evidence to support a dismissal of any and all charges against the defendant. Also, the state will award Mr. Daniels $300,000, $50,000 for each year Mr. Daniels was erroneously incarcerated. I trust you are satisfied with that, Mr. Daniels. Your Honor, I gave 14 years of my life to the military. Six years hard time in a federal penitentiary. I don't know why you people think that money can replace a life. There are no words to describe what it's like when you're an innocent man in prison, sitting there and waiting and hoping and praying that this day will come. I don't believe that money can buy back my name, my reputation, my wife, my family, and all that I lost. Mr. Daniels, the court recognizes your grief, and we sympathize with your loss. I don't want your money. I want my life back. Take him to the safe house. A nice lady like you needs a nice car like this. Come on, I'll take you for a ride. This car's worth more than you can trade. Look here, it's a great deal. Tonight, right now, get in. Shut your mouth for one fucking second and listen. That's why you're slipping, dog. Yo. Wanna buy some wheels? Nah, man, you know, I don't know how much. How much? For this classic car? I'll tell you what, I like your face. So, uh, how about everything you got? Everything I got. Look, man, you wanna jack me? Is that uh, it? Yeah, that's Let it. me tell you something. I just got out of prison for something I didn't do. And before that, I used to, like, you know, study real hard and learned all kinds of different ways to kill motherfuckers just like you. <laughs> this motherfucker talking shit. So let me go. Just let me go on by, or I'll fuck you up, ugly. <laughs> mm.
fuck you up ugly, he says. Both of us? Tell me something. What does that mean, fuck you up ugly? It means your mama won't recognize you in your coffin. Talking about my mama? Hand it over, motherfucker. <laughs> See this gun here? I'm just gonna pop the slide release and pull this bitch off. And then I'm gonna take this, now I'm gonna fuck you up ugly. No, no, no. <laughs> Fuck you. Shit away, boy, before somebody gets hurt. I'll count to 100 and get some help for those two fools. I'm taking this car, Bring bitch. Fucker. Man, my ears are throwing up. Just relax, man. I'm just trying to find a trying to find a good station. It's like a DJ, man. Look, I gotta take a leak here, get pulled over, man. Are you serious? I'm serious. Oh man. You always gotta take a squirt, man. Dude, slow down, man. That was a cop. Yeah? Yeah, I saw him. All right, you better throw that out. We got an open container issue here. <laughs> open. We got a stolen car issue here, man. I hope they did a good job on the vent. <laughs> It's true. He's probably hammering a donut anyway, man. He didn't even look up when we passed. We can toss the rest of the empties out when we get to the rest stop, right? Yeah. Gotta take a squirt. Come on. Just pull over, man. There's a rest stop ahead. Take a right. Take a right here. I love you so much. We won't talk. We won't talk. No problem. Got that for you. You should go pee. That's what I'm gonna do. Go put those in a can. Yeah, I'll do that. <sighs> Damn. You're lu lucky I don't throw the glass one at you. Down, liquor store on Hastings. Unit 5, please respond. Potential suspect. 
suspects in Black 300 will approach. Driver's license and registration. You're No English, sorry. You? You speak English? Okay, get up. Put your hands on the car. Drop your keys and put your hands on the car. Side. Take a step to the side. Whose car? What's in the trunk? You don't understand, huh? You can't tell me whose car it is or what's in the trunk? What's this? Should. Should. What, close? You wanna hurry before that cop decides to mess with us too? Come in, huh? huh? Call backup. <laughs> Take my radio. Take my radio. Holy shit. Please, please. Shit. Run, man. Fuck off!
Oh, what the hell? Whoa, whoa, hey. Take it easy. I'm the good guy. You're just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Shitload of cash in here. Do you know that? What do you want to do now? Is that car yours drivable? Yeah, more or less. Go start it up. Holy fuck. There's a body in here, man. Get the car started now. Now! this? Is she dead? No. Hurry, we got company! Okay, go. What's your name? Tia. Where am I? I'm just going up the road. I found you in the trunk of a car. This is my friend. What about all that cash? I don't know. I went to a meeting. With a man about an immigration issue. Probably wear off soon. My Do you have any idea what's going on here? Just get us to the next town. That sign back there says Bellingham and 50. Well, I live in East Bellingham. And what the hell do I tell the cops if I'm stopped, huh? You know, do you have any idea who these people were that were shooting at us? I mean, for that matter, who are you? I don't think it really matters anymore. After you drop me off, just tell the cops whatever you want. Just give me a few hours to get into the wind. Oh, well, my father disowned me if I spoke to the cops, especially the ones from Bellingham. Is your father a gangster or something? Ex-con? Well, it's like I said, my father's not exactly an upstanding citizen. I mean, he sells cars that aren't necessarily for sale, if you know what I mean. I can relate to that. I wouldn't do that if I were you. We're going about 70 miles an hour. 
It's okay. We saved you from those guys back there. I mean, we don't mean you any harm. What do you mean, we, white boy? Okay, technically he did. I did drive the car, though. All right, are, are you going with him? Is she going with you? My advice is just drop her off at the first cop shop. No. I can't go to the local police. No, why's that? They're the ones who killed my friends. Okay. Look, I need to call my father. Not until we reach Bellingham, then you're free to do whatever you want. But I need help. Didn't you hear me? The cops killed my friends. My father will pay you if you help me. The problem is I need any money. A whole bag of cash here. Maybe instead of money, your dad could get me the fuck out of America. Could he do that? He can. Yeah, well, if you're so sure about that, I'll tell you what, son. Drop her and I off together, and then you park this piece of shit somewhere where nobody can see it and uh, hightail it to the fucking moon. Maybe I can help. I know the town really well. My father's got connections. Just forget about us, man. Do what I said. Now you're a hero. Lay that dead kid so it looks like the chink killed him first. I want this whole thing tied up by the time the state boys get here. Listen, you're gonna get out here. Put as much distance as you can between yourself and the car. These guys are gonna come looking for you. They're gonna come looking hard, you hear? I'll wipe it down, they'll never trace it back to me. Thank you. Look, if you guys ever need anything, you go to Little Russia, you ask for Vlad. It's my father. He does some other business, too. All right, man, be safe. Thanks. Where are you going? I thought we were... Yeah, no, we're not going there. Come on. Wait. Wait for me. Here? Why? They catch that kid and we're fucked. And from him, they'll roll back to that other motel. You understand? You don't trust anyone, do you? It ain't about trust, it's about survival. I need to call my father. I need to tell him I'm okay. Before you do that, I think you and I need to have a little talk. I already told you everything. 
What more do you want me to say? You told me that your friends were killed by local cops. That really doesn't explain to me how you ended up in a trunk next to a bag of cash. I already told you it's not my money. What are you, deaf? I want you to shut the fuck up. I want you to pay attention and understand one thing. If I'm gonna try to save you, and if I'm gonna try to help you, you need to talk to me, you need to listen to what I say, when I say, how I say, and if you don't, I will leave you here to get eaten by the fucking jackals who are coming soon. Okay? Okay. I'm sorry. If you want me to help you, you gotta talk to me, man. You gotta tell me straight so I can know who's coming for us. You're right. You saved my life. I guess I owe you the truth. Well, the truth would be nice. I was trying to get my uncle into the country. Yeah, they're coming now! I was contacted by someone who said they could help. They want me to go inside alone. I don't like this, Tia. I'll be okay. I was told to show up alone, but I insisted on bringing some of my friends, since it was the first time we were meeting. drug smuggler, only known to me as Chen. He told me that he would help smuggle my uncle into the United States. I should have known it was a trap. It was all my fault. I heard the shot. I was in shock. They forced me into a room where another man was waiting for me. He said that he was waiting for my uncle's arrival and that I was going to be held for ransom until he got the information that he needed from my uncle. And then someone placed a cloth over my mouth. Why would your father send you alone to do this kind of thing? He didn't. I went against his wishes. It was his preference to keep trying to get my uncle here through legal channels. You see, I love my uncle, and I had to make sure that he escaped from China. Escaped from China? My uncle's an accountant. He wanted out, but it's not the kind of job you can just quit. My uncle's involved with some senior members in the Chinese army. These men are in charge of an area known as the Golden Triangle, a place in Burma where the poppies are cultivated. Well, I'm very familiar, very familiar. That's why he was denied entrance into the United States. So he's on the watch list? Yes. If he was an accountant, that means he knows where all the books are, what all the numbers are, where all the bodies are. They're not gonna let him go. That guy's worth his weight in gold. But he's a good man, Shane. And the man in the office, he's also Chinese? They called him the Colonel. Chinese military. What makes you say that? My father was a military advisor. I've been around the type my whole life. He asked me some questions about my uncle. Almost like he was trying to make sure I was who I said I was. I get it. I know what to do. I know what to do. Richie, it's Clark. Come in. Go for Richie. Over. Think we got it. Okay, hang tight. I'll be there in 10. Where's my money? Where is my money? My money. What? Your money? 
No, no, no. The deal was I get half the money up front, the other half when I give you the uncle. That was my fucking money. Until he arrives, it's my money. And that girl, I need her to control the uncle, and you lost her too. And I'm gonna get her back. You forget, the girl was a bonus. You better deliver this bonus. If you want to do business with my backers, you need to be a little more responsible. Yeah. You find him. All right, you take care of it. I gotta go. You angry? Jen, please, did my best. Who has my money? It wasn't my fault, boss. <clears throat> the fuck? Now answer my fucking question. Who has my money? And more importantly, where is the girl? This big guy. Maybe Indian, I don't know. He took the money and he took the girl. The girl might remember how to get back here. We should go to the safe house. We have plenty of notice. The state cops have to go through Bellingham before they get here. What about the dead trooper? Richie should have a handle on that, right? Yeah. Local cops are in my pocket. Richie says he found the abandoned car in the center of town. He also said prints on the outside of the car belonged to a dead Russian kid. Russian? Okay. Okay. Well, you make sure Richie has a description of this Indian guy. You send him to the Russians and get him to talk to him. Then you grab a few men and you start searching the town. Nobody leaves without us knowing. Understood? Get the fuck out of here. You're bleeding all over my office. Russians and Indians. Hmm? Understood. I hate that little chink. Okay, coming right up. Yes, go on. Yeah, nothing like back to us. Covered our tracks, covered the vehicle. I mean, we were just minding our own business. A cop pulled up, and uh, we were a little freaked, so, you know, all of a sudden, these other two guys get out and uh, come out of nowhere. Markov heads off down the dock. I duck for cover. He should have stayed low. He should have just stayed low. Instead, he gets Hey, dead. who's the guy in charge here? Gone. <laughs> so the guy comes out of nowhere, and I don't know, he seemed to help me out of the situation, so just kind of rolled with it. for the driver of a blue Suburban. People around here tell me you deal in cars. No. People probably tells you lots of things, huh? But I bet most of it bullshit. <laughs> Why don't you go back to your side of town, cowboy? We try to keep to ourselves here. Isn't that right? See? No one's here wants to whisper and the cops here. Some Euro trash, just about your age, got himself killed down by the borderline. Did you know him? Well, I don't know any Euro trash, officer. I'm trying to finish my meal here. But I obviously can't do that with you standing here. Smells of you makes my stomach turn. I will cut your balls. 
and I will cut your throat, you understand? Hey, man, I'm a cop. We're fucking cops. Let me explain something to you. Where I come from, we fuck cops in the mouth when we run out of farm animals. If you want to lock us up after you count your dead, then don't forget that American jails is paradise to us. So think hard before you jump. We need this cleaned up. Right. What the fuck was that? What, we're just gonna walk away? That asshole just threatened you. Listen to me, we walk away for right now, all right? This is their part of town. Oh, give me a break. These fuckers are crazy. We can't take them all on, not the two of us. Not right now. We're the fucking law. Listen to me. As soon as we handle this shit, I'm planning on paying them a little home visit. Oh, yeah. There's a place and a time for everything. We'll get in the fucking car. So, uh, this is drug money, unfortunately. And I don't know if you can read Chinese, but... It's obviously uh, Chinese drug money. So, I'm sure folks are looking for this real hard. Who are you? I mean, how do you know that? I, uh, I was in the military for a long time. I was in the Army and Special Forces. I had a great career, very colorful. And one day I lost it all. Well, I got accused of something I didn't do. Did six years hard time. Was acquitted of all wrongdoing through DNA evidence. They found out I had nothing to do with that crime. I was let out recently, and look at me, I'm already in trouble again. Fuck. So this is a transponder which means people are probably closing in on us real quick, you know? Get down, somebody's here.
Michael's due to arrive today. I'm so worried what might happen to him. All right. How you doing? You ever hear of a young man called Sergei? Never heard of him. He said that uh, his father owns this place, someone called Vlad. News to me. Really? Okay. Thank you. Let's go. This is a waste of time. Wait a minute. That's them. Those are Chen's men. Why don't you tell me what business you've got with Sergey? Well, the boy owes me something. Why don't you check with the father? What's in the bag? None of your fucking business. Little Russia, everything my business. Well, how bad do you want to find out what's in the bag, boy? guys ain't with us, and whoever took them out's a professional. Found these. Weren't we just there? So the motel surveillance cameras gave us a tentative ID. The guy's name is Shane Daniels. He's just out of the joint, and guess what? He's ex-Special Forces. The guy's a fucking killing machine. It still doesn't explain why there's two dead Asians. Oh, and you're gonna love this. We found some kind of tracking device in the room, too. Maybe my friend is being a little less than honest. You want me to come back there and kill that piece of shit? No. I can handle him. So if both ends of town are truly covered, then he's gotta be somewhere close. Nah, we shook down the Russians. They ain't talking. But our guy was there. Well, then you take the gloves off and you make the Russians talk. You sure you want to go there? They went there first. <laughs> Colonel! The men we're looking for killed two Dadu. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? No, I don't. Liar. Think before you act. I am thinking. And I think those men were yours, and they were after my money. You deliver it, and then you try and steal it back? You're thinking too much. Well, no one's ever accused me of that before. The uncle arrives tonight. I still don't have the girl. Yeah, I'm aware of that. And I'll burn that fucking town to the ground unless they hand over the girl before dawn. Now, please, contact your people and tell them to deliver my money. Of course.
，快吧！我们要贴黑之前到达牧场。Yes, yes, Colonel. All right, uh, grab that bottle, pour some couple drinks over here. Uh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Perfect. Drink, Colonel? You say, uh... You say you trust me, but you refuse to have a drink with me. All right, come on for me. in, me and the boys will keep you busy. Let us know when you have them. Here he is. Hey. I've heard a lot about you. Please sit down. Welcome to my home.
Perfect. I heard a, a rumor about the Dadu that they uh, they prefer to each other. Huh? <laughs> you know, I'm I'm almost starting to think that it's true. You know, because because look at these beautiful girls. They're just mm, they're just dancing around, and you're not even you're not even looking at them. And you're eating your food. This one. Maybe you like her, huh? She's got the ass of a nine-year-old boy, huh? Look at that. Maybe, hey, hey, maybe, maybe if you have a drink with me, I'll let you take her from behind. You'd like that, won't you, Colonel, huh? Yeah. Where are you going? Colonel, where are you going, huh? What, what? Did, did I hit a nerve? Where are you going, buddy? Oh, baby, I think I hit a nerve. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Come, come sit on Daddy. <laughs> man my life father in life we fight wars for many things we fight for our family for our friends and for our pride but always maintain a code of honor without that life has no meaning I understand that where's your family my family's gone I see that in your eyes you are the man who put others ahead of himself, not to garner others' respect, but simply because it's your very nature. You saved my son, and for that I am beyond grateful. Please tell me what you need. If it's within my power, I will make it happen. I don't like to start a fight unless I finish it, and uh, after this, now they have her uncle. And if we don't step in, they'll kill him. That is a serious problem. Where was this place they had you? It was an abandoned mill, about 50 miles out of town, not too far from the border. A chance place. Very secluded. He likes to do business out there. So you know this man? Of course. What do you think? From now on, you're my brother. <laughs> На здоровье, мой брат. На здоровье, брат. should be dead by now. I just wanted to make sure the uncle arrives before you screw that up too. My associates will retaliate. You know, they, they rely on me to deliver their product across. There's, there's a lot of money at stake here. <laughs> you think you matter? I think I was going to pay you, huh? The only reason I came to you to intercept the uncle was because you were easy to manipulate. And I was right. 
You think your dad do background and training make you untouchable? It doesn't. He's coming, you'll see. The Dadu are the highest ranked warriors of the Chinese people, something you know nothing about. I tell you what, I will do you a favor. I will unite you with your nine year old boy lover. Huh? <laughs> Happy? Did I hit a nerve? Make a sound. Answer me by nodding or shaking your head. Is the girl still here? Is the man still with her? Yes. Fuck me. They know we're here. Let her go. Fuck you. Put your fucking gun down. I said, put your fucking gun down. <laughs> in the front. So okay, we'll take you down below. Save some for me. You guys keep going, I'll double back. Oh, it reminds me of the old days. Let's go.
Archie, I've got her. We're coming out the side exit. Get the car ready. <laughs> Tia, run. Who the fuck are you, huh? Take care of himself, okay? Let's go. Come on. Fucking knew it, I told you. Shit. Young man, you did good. You did well, Sergey. You did well. Shane. You've heard my speech, and now you save both of our lives. What I want to know is how can I help you? I have friends all around the world. You have the cash. I can help you start a new life in a new place. Is that not what you wanted all along? Well, I'm going to take care of her uncle, and then we'll talk. Then I will go with you on this as far as it goes. Great. I'm with you, too. I'm coming, too. So, let's go. Looks like they dug in. Let's go join the party. Be on your toes. They're not answering the radio.
you better pay the young who is here. Let me know when the charges are all set and ready. Chen. That's him. That's my uncle. Wait a minute. We got another player here. It's an ambush. They won't have a chance. Finally did something right. Yanko has arrived. Hey, go. Here, stay low. I'm going to go out flank him.
and a coat from one of those dead guys right away. <laughs> Quickly! Just like this. You hear me? You all right? Sid Gay, watch her for me. You okay, baby? I'll be right back. I'll be right back. To get out of here, okay? Okay, I'm sorry about this. Sorry about this. Why am I? Come in. 
Come on in. Have a seat. Maybe later. Who are you? What do you want? Well, unfortunately, in the fabricating of your plans, you inadvertently stepped into my minefield. And to answer the second part of your question, I want you dead. <laughs> I did not believe you were that good until you dispatched my men. Very impressive. But let's get down to business, shall we? You want the old man? You pay with your life. You know, brother, where I come from, the definition of death is emptiness. If that's the case, I've been dead for a long, long, long time. Mm. Well, it looks like we're in a room with three dead men. <laughs> Somebody wants to see you. Oh, where is Shane? He's coming. He's coming, okay? He's on his way. He's coming. All right? Okay. Are you okay? So, Everybody's waiting for us downstairs. I've got something more important than that. 
The smuggling day's over, that's for sure. Does that mean what I think it means? Guess what, Vlad just called and your uncle can stay. <laughs> Thank you, Shane, for everything. All right, sweetheart, let's go celebrate. I got a new home.